Right now we're going to do something that Houdini made famous. This is known as the thumb cuffs escape. You've probably seen handcuffs. Some of you have some in your own bedroom. But I have <laughs> thumb cuffs. Now these are regulation thumb cuffs. And if you've never seen these before, this is your chance to experience true pain. You see, the thumb cuffs are designed not to go around the wrists, but to go around the thumbs. And once they're placed on the thumbs, they can be clamped down so tightly that the teeth actually bite into the flesh. It's impossible to pull the thumb knuckle out once these have been clamped completely down on the thumb. Pull on it. No, pull on it. <laughs> you, you're my kind of crowd. Pull on the thumb cuff. Pull on it. Pull on it. You may have noticed that my thumb is changing color. As a matter of fact, if I left this on much longer, my thumb would actually go purple. I would lose all sensation in it. Yes, it would match the shirt. And I would lose all sensation in my thumb, and then eventually the thumb would die, and it would fall off. Hopefully that will not happen. We're going to keep the keys safe with you. Place them in your top pocket right there. What is your name? John. John. Let's give John a round of applause as he comes up here. Come on up, John. Come on up. Come on up. All right. All right, John, you're going to be helping out with this. I want you to hold on to these. We're also going to need another gentleman to help out here. What is your name, sir? Jesse. Jesse. All right, let's give Jesse a big round of applause. He steps up to this side. How you doing? Jesse, good to meet you. John, good to meet you. All right. The two of these gentlemen will be locking me in these thumb cuffs. Jesse, what I want you to do is to push that one down there as tightly as you can. That's great. Now, pull on the little hasp to make sure that it doesn't pull up, that it does not release. Same thing on this side. Clamp it right down there, nice and tight. That's perfect. Great. A little bit more. That's good. Yeah, we'll push it right down there. That's perfect. That's great. All right. John, I'd like to take those cuffs from you. We're going to do not just one pair of thumb cuffs, but two of them. And to make sure that I can't move around, you'll clamp those down there. Just push them right down as tight as you possibly can. Just push them right down there, nice and tight. Real tight on the thumbs, just bite right into the skin. That's it. There you go. All right. That's true pain. Now, <laughs> now, John and Jesse, I'm going to attempt to escape from these cuffs. I want you to stay right here. I'll step back behind the case, right back behind the case, and I want you to move in just a little closer. Stand right here on the edge of the case like that. Make sure those are on nice and tight. Just give them a little tug. Okay, that's good. All right, perfect. And you do the same thing. Step over here. Get your shoulder right up against the case. Turn and face front. Turn this way. That's good. Step right over there. Turn and face front. That's perfect. All right. Now, both of you gentlemen will restrain my wrists to make sure that I cannot move around and escape from these cuffs. I want you to use this hand. Grab onto this wrist. That's great. That hand, that wrist. That hand, that wrist. That's perfect. Hold on to them nice and tight. All right. We're going to attempt to escape. Now, gentlemen, what I want you to do is to hold your hands right there. Okay? Hold your hands right there. Exactly. Just like that. We've got a little couple of things that are knocking around in here, but that's fine. Hold your hand right there. That's fine, just like this. I'm going to attempt to escape. I will count to three, and we will escape from the cuffs. On the count of three, that's one. That's two. That's three. Completely out. Let's give John and Jesse a big round of applause as they make their way back to their seats. As they... All right. Do you have the keys still there in your pocket? Yeah. Terrific. For those of you that are not trained in the art of escape, you always want to keep the keys around. Let's have a big round of applause for Jesse and for John. Thank you very much. Uh, we have another gentleman up here in front. What's your name, sir? My name's Kevin. Kevin, good to meet you. All right, Kevin, what I'd like you to do is to come right up here and bring your seat with you. Bring your seat with you. Yeah, bring it right up here. Would you toss me one of those ropes, please? Yeah, you might have to take yourself out of them. Yeah, that's fine. Bring your seat right up here. We're going to have a seat right there. Just one? Yeah, just one. All right, Kevin, you're going to help me out with this. Kevin, I'm going to be your hostage. All right? So I'm going to have a seat right here. We also uh, need a gentleman with a jacket. So we have a gentleman who has a jacket, a suit coat, a jacket with him. That's terrific. We can use that one. That's fine. If you take that jacket right off there and hand it to Kevin. Now, Kevin, what I'm going to have you do is to bring those ends of the rope up. You'll see it on both sides. Right. That's great. You can just toss the jacket right on the floor. Okay. All right. That's perfect. 
and right down at my wrist, just tie my wrist as tight as you possibly can. Right down on the wrist. Just loop it around? Yeah, just loop it right around there and tie right. it as tightly as you can. Like a pull it right down. That's it. Pull it right. No, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> All right, do the same thing. Another knot. Another knot. Right on top of there. And one more. One more. Come on, another knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. That's good. Okay, so not only can I not move my wrists, but I cannot move my legs. If I attempt to stand up, I can barely move around. You see? Yeah. All right. It's impossible to get out of this. This is how you would tie someone if you wanted to keep them hostage. Of course, you could tie it to the chair as well. It would make it more difficult. But this will suffice for us. What I'd like you to do, Kevin, is to pick up the jacket, please, and just drape it right across my knees. And then take your seat. Oh, uh, yeah, good. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I have your seat. Here, you may take your seat. Let's give Kevin a big round of applause. Thanks for helping us out with the jacket.